Hi everyone, I'm Rachel, Chief Product Officer here at Webflow. And today, I'm incredibly excited to introduce you to something that's going to change the way many of you build, Webflow Cloud. Over the past year, you've seen us evolve Webflow from a website builder into the website experience platform, giving you the power to not just design and build high-performing websites, but also to manage content and optimize that content in order to drive real business results. But as I always say, we're just getting started. And now we're taking the next step. Webflow Cloud unlocks best-in-class hosting for full-stack web apps powered by Cloudflare to give you the ability to deploy dynamic web experiences and custom backend logic all inside of Webflow and all on your own domain. We're combining the visual-first approach you love with DevLink with the flexibility and control developers crave. It's fast, it's secure, and it opens up endless possibilities for what you can build. Whether you're creating a custom booking engine, deploying dynamic SEO, or building powerful integrations with LLMs, Webflow Cloud gives you the tools to take all of your projects and your clients' work to the next level. We're thrilled to give you a first look to show off the power of this new feature. So I'm gonna hand it over to Bryant, who's standing by in the Webflow studio. Bryant, take it away. Thanks, Rachel, and hey, everyone. I'm looking forward to showing you how Webflow Cloud brings the power of full stack development right into your existing Webflow projects. Today, we'll walk through how easy it is to connect your site to GitHub, deploy a React app, and even use DevLink to import your Webflow components, like a nav bar and a footer, to maintain consistency between your website and your web apps. But this is more than just a demo, because joining me today is Kyle Keelot, lead designer and developer at TurboHome, one of our early beta partners who has started building with Webflow Cloud. Welcome, Kyle. Hey, Bryant. Great to be here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what TurboHome does? Yeah, so at TurboHome, uh, we're building the smartest way to buy a new home. So we're using technology to provide prospective home buyers with all of the great benefits of having a, an amazing buyer's agent throughout the entire home buying process, but with the ability to save a ton of money on buyer's commission when they do purchase a house. Cool. So tell me a little bit about how you use Webflow today. Yeah, so we use uh, Webflow today to power our main TurboHome.com marketing site, uh, which is the primary way that we acquire new customers. So Webflow Cloud provides a lot of really interesting opportunities for us. The big one that we're looking for is being able to pull hundreds of thousands of constantly changing and updating new home listing data that exists in our application into our marketing site earlier on in that customer experience so that they're finding the most engaging uh, and valuable information they can sooner. So we actually have a live demo today where we're going to take the listings that are stored in this third-party database that the TurboHome engineers built, and we're going to actually deploy a Next.js app on the Webflow project and then deploy it to the TurboHome custom domain. So let's take a look at how that works. There are two ways to get started with Webflow Cloud through a Webflow CLI, where you can start with one of our scaffolds, or by using an existing Next.js or Astro repo. With the TurboHome site, their engineering team has already set up a Next.js project, so let's make sure the components are consistent by bringing in the navbar and footer from their Webflow project with DevLink. Let's add the navbar here locally. Great. Now I can connect this repo to their Webflow site. First, let's authenticate to the GitHub app, select the repo I want to connect to, then create the project, give it a name, select the repo, and the Git branch. Then specify the mount path where the app should be served from, which in this case is turbohome.com slash app. Now let's go back to my IDE and add the footer. Then we can deploy the app by making a new commit to the branch, and we can push it up. Webflow Cloud handles the building and deployment of your app for you automatically. Let's go check on the build logs. And boom, we see that the deployment has finished. All we have to do now is publish the Webflow site and make sure everything works on the Turbo Home custom domain. And there it is. Looks like we have everything working with the listing, the detail pages, and the booking experience, all powered by Turbo Home's backend. So Kyle, what do you think? I think it's great. And uh, Brian, honestly, it's been a huge game changer for our Turbo Home team. 
Our engineers have been able to stay focused on continuing to build out our application. Those of us on the marketing side, on building out our marketing site, and Webflow Cloud has made it possible for us to bring all of that together seamlessly on a single Webflow domain. Awesome. Thanks for coming in today, Kyle. Rachel, back to you. Thanks, Brian and Kyle. That was so cool. And just one example of how we anticipate developers are going to use Webflow Cloud. If you're ready to start exploring, visit webflow.com slash cloud to request access. And thanks, everyone, for watching today. We can't wait to see what you build.